Thank you, but because I tried to sing, but they didn't let me. No, I mean it's good for your ears. So, anyways, good evening, everybody. My name is Olive, and probably uh, probably most of you know me as a Joker, but this is not who I am. Um, tonight is the night. Uh, I want you to meet the real me. Uh, the unknown. If anyone asks me what's the worst feeling I've got to experience, my, my answer would be the unknown. Uh, the moment you stop and ask yourself, who am I, is when everything becomes clear. Uh, when I took the step to face myself, it was the moment I realized um, that all this time I was performing different roles in a play that wasn't even a road for me. I was losing little by little pieces of the real me, trying to satisfy others. I wanted to change. Uh, here is where I took a wrong turn, asking others who should I be. So I listened to a little voice in my head. I was convincing myself that they must know better. Trying to reach pointless goals to prove others my value, I got to the point where um, I was ready um, to let go. Uh, shame, self-hate, no self-esteem. Uh, I had everything I could have dreamed of. Brand new car, skinny body, college, a fiance, no need to work, beautiful house, traveling. That's how it looked like. A lie I was living. Uh, miserable and destroyed inside. Why am I not happy? I could not understand. Pretending seemed easier. That's what I chose to do. Fake it till you make it, right? Uh, maybe if I fake my feelings, maybe if I hide them, they won't notice. The truth is I started to believe in my own lies. Running from myself, choosing not to accept the truth. You, I was comfortable. My heart is not the one that gets to decide. My head should be the one to answer all the questions. That's what I believed in. Trying to fulfill our needs, we may forget where happiness comes from. By understanding that my insights should be fulfilled first, I started to look, but in such wrong places. Uh, it was the moment when my mistakeable turn should have been a stop. You'll probably think I'm a terrible driver. And I won't fight you on this case. I've been given so many signs, but I chose not to follow. I try to bring myself satisfaction. I wanted to be back to the place where I can feel again, but it brought me into a deeper lie and pain. Drugs, alcohol, and fake people around me. It was the moment I knew I can make it on my own. Thinking I can, I have everything under control, I realized I was never so out of control. My life was broken on the inside, outside, from all points of view. I couldn't see a way out. I wanted it all to stop. I was still living a dream, but now it was a nightmare I was having. I feel like I'm not even participating or having part of the play anymore. Like I'm watching from auditorium, my life getting ruined. The girl I used to know would never make the choices I made. I would not recognize the person in the mirror, feeling disgust by looking who I've become. Is this really who I am? Will this life that I'm giving be a waste? I knew I do not belong here. Three eating disorders, anorexia, binge eating, bulimia. I wanted them to like me. 
thinking I wasn't good enough. Um, um. abusive relationship. I wanted to be valued, loved, and not alone, thinking material things are worth staying for. Hmm. Addiction, drugs, prescription pills. I wanted to forget my past, thinking it's the shortcut to happiness. Depression, self-harm, and anxiety. Believing I'm not worthy, I don't deserve forgiveness or love that when I'm called by my name, my mistakes will be above it. That I'm not beautiful enough, smart enough, or deserve a second chance. I knew that I'm a crush soon. I gave him the kiss. It was the first time I felt free. Secure, most importantly, truly loved. I've been saved, remade, forgiven, and made the new in His way. God brought me down so I could finally look up, see His beauty and marvelous ways. God placed me in a situation that I wouldn't see a way out. That way, I know it's him that did it. Feeling alone and lonely, I can confidentially say that I was never alone. Especially at my darkest moment, because without his life, light, I wouldn't make it out. I am grateful for the darkest of the night, because that's how I came to value, give significance and importance to the light and brightness of the day that always, always follows. Our Lord is the only one that can give us an everlasting, bright, fulfilled, proud, happy feeling to carry on. He was the only one that will open our eyes and show us the only truth and right path to follow. I'm not, the, I'm not afraid or ashamed to say loudly that God's not dead. I needed to be lost so I can get found in Him. I'm proudly saying that my life belongs to Jesus and this is who I am.